I'm Greg Jarrett, and you are in the strategy room. A proposed California ballot initiative is getting nationwide attention because it calls for gays to be shot to death. The bill is titled the Sodomite Suppression Act. It calls for any person that participates in sodomy to, quote, be put to death by bullets to the head. Seriously, it does say that. Here now to talk about it. Political strategist Julie Roginski and Liz Peake. You know, it's worse than that. I've got the petition in front of me here. Any person who willingly touches another person of the same gender for purposes of sexual gratification. Uh, bullets to the head. Are Julie? we are we in Tehran? I'm sorry. Was this, was this, where are we? Because I'm a little confused as to what country yeah. we're living in right now. We sit here and criticize ISIS for throwing people off balconies. We criticize the Iranians for shooting and hanging gay people or stoning them. And, and look what some nutbag out in California is doing. I mean, yeah. it's insane. Uh, yeah. and, and that nutbag, by the way, to use your term, yeah. is a <laughs> California lawyer right. by the name of Matt McLaughlin. He's in Huntington Beach, California, armed with 200 bucks. He was able to get this out to the attorney general who must, by law, prepare a title for it and also a summary for a petition drive, Liz. I, well, it confirms uh, our view that California is a nutty state, yeah. um, and it certainly throws into question the process by which you can put something like this forward. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, you almost begin to wonder if this isn't a hoax, right? Because I've actually looked on uh, several articles online about it. You never see this man. You never hear him talking about this. All we know is kind of the news report about it. And, and you do kind of wonder. I mean, that, as you say, the bill is so crazy. This is supposed to be uh, posted in every Every public school classroom, uh, you know, by the way, capital punishment has been under a moratorium for 10 years in California. So none of it makes any sense. And you do have to wonder whether someone's pulling your leg a little bit on this. Yeah. Uh, this guy, again, is a lawyer. And now there's backlash. There is a petition effort underway uh, to have the State Bar Association in California, by the way, I'm a member of the State Bar of California. <laughs> proud proud California day for you. <laughs> it is not a proud day. I'm disgusted by this guy. He should not be a member of the California Bar Association. Now they're looking into it under a couple of uh, violations, potentially, of the rules of professional conduct, moral turpitude, abuse of the law. On the latter, the Supreme Court ruled 11 years ago anti-sodomy laws are unconstitutional. So he, here is a guy trying to pass a law he knows is unconstitutional. Well, this is part, I mean, I don't want to expand this to the whole problem with INR in California, but this is the insanity of the California ballot. Anybody can get right. something on the ballot if they get enough signatures, and, and it, you know, that's why the California ballot sometimes runs to multiple pages. Right. And it becomes insane because of issues like this. Look, I, I am, uh, as much as I disagree with this man, and, and I do with every fiber of my being, but he's allowed to express his views and I have a problem with that. Yeah, he does have a free but, speech but Yeah, right. the, the, the bigger problem as an attorney is, is what you pointed out, that he's got a problem with the fact that he probably should have looked at, as you said, Lawrence v. Texas, or looked at anti-sodomy laws, seen that the Supreme Court overturned them and, and has seen that, should have seen, that what he's trying to accomplish is actually contrary to the law, something that apparently, as a lawyer, he didn't bother yeah. checking out. All right, now the next step, he's got to get 365 some odd signatures within 90 days, he'll never get it. Um, because fortunately, I can attest to the fact there are enough people with common sense in California <laughs> uh, that he's not going to, there aren't 365,000 people who are going to sign this nutty, nutty idea. Yeah, I'm actually wondering what kind of ballot initiative I'd like to have on the ballot. I mean, you know, outlawing Oreos. I mean, there must be something that, you know, would be kind of fun I to put love out there. Oreos. <laughs> there you go. But that would still make more sense than this. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. I agree. I think it's crazy. Yeah. Totally. Well, well, I mean, it's going to go nowhere, and the only thing that may go somewhere is an investigation of this guy, Matt McLaughlin, Huntington Beach, California. You can yeah. look him up and send him a telegram what you think of him. Uh, Julie Liz, thanks. Uh, check out foxnews.com for more on this developing story. I'm Greg Jarrett. Thanks for watching.